Ali and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bali. Um, I just want to wish you a happy new year. Um, can you believe we made it to 2022? I feel like this whole pandemic thing has been going on forever and we made it. We made it to 2022. So I wanted to start this year with my first youtube video of uh, 2022 to do a devotional um you know we want to start off this year with a grateful heart and uh, be reminded of god's faithfulness and goodness to us and um uh really focus our eyes on him um i think it's a great way to start our year so um Actually, I've decided that I wanted to, I want to do this every Monday. So the segment that I'm going to be posting every Monday is called Devotional Mondays. And the reason for this is um, I want I want us to kind of start off our week with a devotional, a time with God, a prayer. You know, it just um, sets the tone for the week and. I feel like with what's been going on in the world uh, and uh, back home, um, COVID-19 finally hitting Palau, um, murder, um, you know, just stuff going on back home. A lot of um, fear and anxiety, you know, people are scared. I feel like it's, I can use my platform, you know, to... Be God's hand in blessing in encouraging somebody out there. It's so important to to be reminded where our strength comes from, because when times like these, um, we become very vulnerable. So, you know, I just want to do this <clears throat> every Monday. Um, to kind of share the a devotional for the day and then pray and then um, hopefully it encourages you you know let's get started with the word of prayer uh, let's pray the Lulu father God we come before you this moment and we just want to acknowledge you and thank you Lord for today thank you for giving us strength and uh, sustaining us all this all this time we have made it to year 2022 so lord we want, just want to thank you for um bringing us into the year 2022 we know that you have a, a plan for us and and you have a a purpose for us lord and so help us to focus on you focus our eyes on you and and trust that uh, you are a faithful God and you are um, you will never leave us nor forsake us especially at this time when we are so vulnerable we are afraid we are uh, anxious um, we don't know where our future uh, stands but we know that you oh Lord uh, are uh, you don't change God and uh, <clears throat> I just want to thank you for um, whoever is going to be watching this I pray that you use this devotional video and that you use the segment devotional Monday to touch lives of people who need you who need to be encouraged who needs to be exposed to your light Lord and just uh, be reminded of your love and your faithfulness and so we started off this devotional and I pray that your word pierce through our hearts and that we um, are encouraged to stand firm in you. And so I thank you for my home Palau, my home island Palau. I thank you Lord for your protection and your provision um, uh, even at this time when there is COVID-19 in Palau. 
but you, O oh Lord, are uh, an all-powerful God, and I, I know, Lord, that you will come through for our, for my people, and for the people of Palau, and so I continue to lift them up to you, and I pray that you uh, give them peace in their hearts and in their mind, and um, help them, Lord, to. Um, protect themselves and and uh, protect others from this uh, COVID-19 and so um, I dedicate this time Lord to read uh, a devotional and read a word and uh, I just ask for your guidance and your Holy Spirit to to speak to our hearts using the devotional and, and uh, your scripture Lord and so we thank you and we um, acknowledge you as our God and uh, um, we ask all of this Lord in Jesus name Amen so today is uh, today is the 31st and uh, the last day of January actually and uh, I'm going to be using this uh, devotions for every day of the year by Sarah Young it's called Jesus Calling and it says enjoying peace in his presence this is the, the cover and uh, I'm gonna leave the link down below if you guys want to uh, get your a devotional book and so the the title for the devotional on January 31st which is the last Monday of um, January is I am your strength and shield and uh, this is very very appropriate with what is going on in Palau like kind of crazy so it says I plan out each day and have it ready for you long before you arise from bed I also provide the strength you need each step of the way instead of assessing your energy level and wondering about what's on the road ahead concentrate on staying in touch with me my power flows freely into you through your open communication. Refuse to waste energy worrying and you will have strength to spare. Whenever you start to feel afraid, remember that I am your shield. This is, this is the Lord speaking. But unlike inanimate armor, I am always alert and active. My presence watches over you continually, protecting you from both known and unknown dangers. Entrust yourself to my watch care, which is the best security system available. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. So that's the devotional for today. And... Uh, these are the verses of uh, Psalm 28, 7, and it reads, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy, and I will give thanks to Him in a song. This is uh, by David. David wrote this. In Matthew 6, 34, it says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Um, in Psalm 56, Psalm 56, 33 to 4, Psalm, Psalm 56, uh, 3 to 4, It says, When I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God, I trust. 
I will not be afraid. What can mortal men do to me? So these are just, you know, acknowledging God that He is the ultimate protector and uh, He will, we shouldn't worry about tomorrow because um, God is in control and it's just trusting that God is in control. Um, the last uh, verse is in Genesis. Verse, oh, chapter 28, uh, Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. Verse 15. And it says, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. So let the word of God uh, be an encouragement to you. It's really not from me. I'm just uh, an instrument of God. So I hope uh, you are blessed. That's it. That's the devotional and the reading for today. And I just want to close with a word of prayer again. And bless your day. And uh, I hope you have a blessed week. So let's pray. Father God, uh, I just come before you this moment and just praise and thank you again, Lord, for um, being our protector and being our God. And uh, you have given us this day to live. So help us not to worry and to trust in you that you are our protector and uh, allow us, Lord, to, to enjoy the rest of the day, having peace in our hearts from you, knowing that uh, whatever happens, um, that you are in control and that you are our protector. And uh, there's nothing that we should be afraid of because we have you, Lord. And so I pray that this, uh, this video um, be an encouragement to someone out there. Bless someone, Lord, with your words, with this devotion. And uh, continue to use me and my platform to bless uh, people around me. And so I thank you for the opportunity. And I thank you for those who will be watching this. I pray that you bless them continuously. I pray that you bless them and their families and you protect them Lord from COVID-19 that um, that they don't get sick and if they do get sick Lord that you be the healer and the, um, the comfort that they need Lord um, and so thank you I praise you and thank you Lord for um, giving us another day and giving us uh, um, enough Lord to be thankful for and so I thank you and uh, bless this whole week. Um, anyone who's watching this, I pray that you bless, bless their whole week. Um, uh, may they hold on and cling to your word that was shared in this video and the verses. May they, may they um, re be reminded of your word as they go through the week. If they ever go through a hard time, Lord, or they go through a struggle, I pray that you would be an encouragement to them or um, Oh, or that they can use your word as an encouragement to other people to encourage other other people so thank you lord akon bring us ulem ang itak lang al tangat tagao al ngarang kile yesus e kaya kito anti ang lungo e al ngarang kile yesus salo sablam ng morar amen uh, I'll be doing this every Monday on Devotional Mondays. So I hope to see you guys next Monday. Uh, may God bless you in your week and I'll see you next Monday.